Hi, and welcome to Industry Update, your source for the latest news in the ad specialty industry. I'm Dave Agnoni. In this episode, an internationally known supplier announces a new North American president, and a New York-based distributor quickly gains six offices and 35 salespeople. But we begin with another rise in sales for a top 40 company. Texas-based supplier Ennis has announced its revenues rose nearly 6% since February, jumping to $283 million during the past six months. The company's sales of apparel have been especially strong so far in 2010, increasing by nearly 20% to reach $147 million. Company earnings are also up, gaining $10 million compared to the first two quarters of 2009 after reporting its latest financials and its stock price increased 6%. In other news, New Jersey-based supplier Millennium Leather has announced it successfully emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The company filed for protection in October of last year while continuing to operate without interruptions in service. Under the terms of the reorganization plan, all of Millennium Leather's creditors, secured and unsecured, will receive a full settlement. We continue now with the closing of a deal between two large distributors. New York-based Smart Source has acquired selected assets of Straticom, which specializes in document management. The deal increases the reach of Smart Source, which now has 17 offices, eight points of distribution, and a staff of 130 people. About three dozen salespeople from Straticom are joining SmartSource, which now expects to report annual revenues of well over $50 million. And finally this week, supplier Victorinox Swiss Army has named a new president for his North American division. Effective in October, Renee Stutz will be taking the lead post at the company's U.S. headquarters. Stutz has been a chief officer for several companies, most recently the German firm Wustoff Trident. Remember, for the latest industry news and videos, check out Counselor Promogram and keep track of trends, happenings, and research on our ASI Central Facebook page and through Twitter. We hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, for Industry Update, I am Dave Agnoni. Have a great day.